Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got another episode of Ask Can News for you guys because I've only got a few things to go over today actually now that I'm thinking about it, but here we go. Well, we have had some news this week surrounding this year's D23 and specifically Disney Plus Day and we've had confirmed on the 10th of September we are going to be having a Marvel panel because, as I'm sure you guys all know, the raft of content we've had announced from Marvel so far is very, very quickly running out, with the rest of it to be released in the next year. So, mm, they're going to need to announce a few more things to keep us all going. Because right now, literally by the end of next year, we have nothing. We don't know what's coming after the end of next year, so... Huh. So, I'm sure Marvel's going to uh, um, rectify that situation on the 10th of September. Very excited to see what to hear what they announce, considering how crazy last year's um, Disney Plus Day was for Marvel. Although I am sincerely hoping, as a Star Wars fan as well as Marvel, that Star Wars gets some semblance of representation at Disney Plus Day this year. Because I'm sure you remember last year, we got nothing at all. No sign of any trailers. No announcements. No nothing. Which was very disappointing to, for a Star Wars fan, such as myself, but the day was also incredible for Marvel fans, also such as myself. Because of course we had the announcement of I Am Groot, X-Men 97, which is still by far my most um, anticipated project for the MCU to come out in the next year. I legitimately can't wait. Even more so than Spider-Man Freshman Year, which I'm... Spider-Man is probably my favourite Marvel superhero, but I'm still very, very excited for X-Men 97, even more so than that. Because, of course, for those of you who don't quite remember, Spider-Man Freshman Year will actually cover Tom Holland's origin story. Yep, we're going to learn how his Spider-Man came to be. But X-Men 97, can't wait. Hopefully by the... But again, hopefully on the 10th of September, we'll know about what's coming after next year. Because I've got a feeling that... Uh, Disney Plus Day this year is going to cover the next five years of Marvel. Don't know why, but I think it will cover announcements that will take us into the early part of the end of this decade. Um, so that's it for the Disney Plus um, Disney Plus Day stuff and E23. I'll let you guys know when I have more details on the event as a whole. But we also have some F1 stuff because, of course, at the time of recording, qualifying has only ended a couple of hours ago. And oh my god, what a disaster. There were cars flying off the track left, right and centre. Thankfully, only one got damaged, and surprisingly it wasn't Nicholas Latifi today. It was just his fellow countryman, Lance Stroll. Who crashed twice in the space of a lap. Once only slightly knocking his car, the second time knocking his whole front wing off. Whoops. So that, um... Ended Q1 um, for a little while, but it did restart for the last couple of minutes, which was pretty interesting. Um, Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris, ne well, Lewis Hamilton, I should say, nearly had a penalty for unnecessarily slow, unnecessary slow, dr slow driving, but thankfully that was overturned, so no penalty for Sir Lewis, thank the gods, because that's the last thing he needs. So yeah, honestly, a bit of a chaotic qualifying for F1. Hopefully the race has gone a bit better, because of course, by the time Sfeda comes out, the race will be over. But I'll be talking about it on the Astoundcast in an hour, so be sure to be there for that. Um, and a little bit of World Cup news as well to cap this off, because pretty important, really. Um, uh, well, Colombia may be getting kicked... Oh, no, sorry. Ecuador might be getting kicked out of the World Cup, because one of their players is Ecuadorian. Uh-oh. And that would leave Chile in prime position to take, to take their place. Because I believe it was actually Chile that um, brought this whole thing about. So this could actually end up helping them in the end. I'll let you guys know in the Astound cast if anything comes of this. But as of now, no news as far as I'm aware. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Ask Her News. Please join me again next Sunday for another episode, of course, 
because I'm starting to do these on Sundays now instead of the Tuesdays I was before. So, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Roxanne's and Frost's channels, that links are in the description, my sub button, down there, yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way, and once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three for bell to get all three sets of our notifications, comment as well, because why not, and let me know what you're looking forward to most about D23 and Disney Plus Day. Um, what you thought of the <laughs> Baku Grand Prix earlier on, and if you think Chile is going to replace Ecuador in the World Cup. And once you know that too, please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. And please, again, check out the Astoundcast in an hour, episode number 50, which is insane to me. Once you know that too, please don't forget to check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. They'll be below my link tree in the description. And lastly... Please don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!